Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sofer and this is a little rocket mass heater update video. We've uh, we've undergone some changes with it and we figured we should inform you guys on it, so let's get started. So the first thing that we did is we lifted the entire furnace off of the ground by the width of a brick and put in a steel plate underneath it, probably 1 16th, 1 8th of an inch, like nothing huge, but just enough to like radiate the heat away from the furnace or if there is a hot spot it'll sort of radiate out instead of just going straight down. You know, just safety precautions. Uh, the second thing that we did is, this is the before shot and this is the after shot. I, that's what we did to the foundation, is we added another layer of bricks so the heat would have to permeate through that, and that's why in this blueprint that I've put up here now is uh, it's layers one and two, because it's not just one layer, it's, it's two layers. Uh, in this design, there is the three images here. All of the blue squares are half bricks. Because, as you've seen in the original video, we did cut our bricks in half. So, all of the blue bricks are half bricks, and the green squares are our ash collection. As you can see, our first design, the ash collection was on the side. In the second design, the ash collection is on the front. Just for scooping, it makes it easier. And the top layer is just how we arranged our bricks for the top layer. It should be noted that this brick right here is overlapped onto the bricks below it. So it's not floating per se, but it is supported. It is sort of staggered, if you will, on the bricks below it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All we've pretty much done is lifted the entire furnace up just to add a little bit more airflow so we won't burn our house down. Um, we added a ash collection on the front of it since we had to take everything apart to do this anyways. And then we've added the, the schematic for you guys to, to follow along with. It should be said that these are bricks for a 4-inch system. Obviously, if you're going to build something bigger, you're going to want bigger bricks. I mean, you don't even have to use bricks. You can use whatever you want. It's basically the, the design of air goes in and then goes up. So if you're going to be building, like, a giant one out of, all, like, a water boiler, I wouldn't recommend using fire bricks unless you're using a lot of fire bricks. But, I mean, at the same time, there's links to that all on permies.com. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. And, yeah, that's basically our uh, entire update video. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed, and uh, have a good day. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.